All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. Well, hello, um, incoming sixth graders. Welcome to Forsyth. I am Mrs. Nguyen, I'm the principal, and I'd like to welcome you to Forsyth today. And today you're gonna learn, uh, get an opportunity to hear from me, Mrs. Crow, some sixth grade teachers, and we're gonna teach you and share with you what Forsyth, what you can expect at Forsyth and what it's gonna be about next year. There will be time at the end for breakout groups, for you go into a smaller group with our teachers, and then you can ask whatever questions you would like to ask them about Foresight. Again, I'm Mrs. Newing. Um, I've been at Foresight now for over 27 years. I enjoy and love being at Foresight, and I'm looking forward to you joining us in the fall. Good morning, Good morning. future Vikings. It is so great to have all of you with us today. We want to welcome you and we want you to know that every single one of you has a place at Forsyth. We hope you enjoy today's presentation and learning more about our school. Here are some faces of people you're going to get to know next year. So I just wanted to share them with you right now. Our office professionals are Mrs. Bond and Mrs. McCann. They will be available in the main office and the student office to help you with whatever questions you might have. Also, we have three counselors at Foresight. Ms. Hollis, which most of you may have already met, she will be the sixth grade counselor next year. So she will be your counselor throughout your entire three years of middle school. But we also have Mr. Murphy and Ms. Morris. They're also counselors and they'll be um, counselors for seventh and eighth grade. We have a wonderful counseling team. So you'll get to know them uh, while you're at Foresight. Our mission is to educate students to become lifelong learners who are knowledgeable, respectful, and responsible citizens. You will learn and revolve around what you do at Foresight around becoming lifelong learners. We have a wonderful teaching staff um, of teachers, counselors. We have a librarian, which you should be have an opportunity to meet as well. You, met our, you saw a picture of our office professionals. We do have a school nurse on staff. We have a special education staff for students with IEPs. We have an intervention specialist who also works with students as well. So we have an extraordinary staff who are here and they're available to help you and assist you with whatever you need next year. A lot of you may have had the opportunity to meet Ms. Hollis already. She will be our sixth grade counselor. She is not with us this year. I mean, right now she's at a meeting, but um, you will work with her uh, next year and she should be your counselor. Here is an example of a typical sixth grade schedule. There are four academic classes that you take, which include ELA, math, science, and social studies. You also have two elective periods, um, typically third and um, seventh hour, as you see on the screen. And you also have lunch and advisory. Next, you're gonna have your teacher share what each of those classes are like. Again, these are the courses I just spoke about. Your academic courses are ELA, math, science, and world history. And then your elective classes, as you can see, there are art, band, choir, orchestra, performing arts, physical education, project lead the way, and world languages. And now your teachers will share information about these courses. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, fifth graders. It's nice to see you here. Um, my name is Mrs. Castillo, and I'm one of the sixth grade language arts teachers, and Mr. Morgan is the other sixth grade language arts teacher. Um, and the main thing you need to know about ELA is just that we are going to do a lot of reading. So Mr. Morgan and I are really excited to just talk to you about your favorite books. Um, we do a lot of reading in class. Um, we visit the library, the media center a lot to check out books. Um, so just over the summer, make sure you do some reading um, and come ready to, to talk about your favorite books next year. Mama. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mutz. I am one of the math teachers. And um, although we'll be talking about lots of different topics, um, we would love for you to make sure that you have your uh, multiplication facts ready. Um, so if you could practice those, if you're not 
quite secure yet, that will prepare you great for sixth grade math. Hello, fifth graders. I'm so happy you're here. It's lovely to see your faces. I miss Snappy and I think Miss Gould's on here too. Hi, Miss Gould. Oh, I assume she's waving. All right. So the cool thing about sixth grade is we study science every single day. Um, so we do a combination of experiments, simulations, and make models. Um, you're going to keep a science notebook. This is a practice that working scientists do to keep all their thinking and their notes in one location. And the big thing is we'll learn that science is everywhere so you can study it anywhere. Uh, good morning, Mr. Shaw. I teach social studies with Ms. Kochnar, who is also in the meeting. Uh, wave Ms. Kochnar if they can see you. There you go. Um, so with uh, in sixth grade social studies, we do world geography. Um, so on the screen here, we have some of the things that we focus on or that Ms. Kochner and I like to focus on. So these include things like current events, what's going on in the world right now. Um, we are going to look at all different types of maps. We're going to look at how to read maps, how to use longitude and latitude to find anywhere in the world on a map. Um, we're going to look at, you know, where people live and why they live there, um, as well as other topics having to do with different governments and types of governments. Um, we're going to spend some time focusing on how to construct good arguments and how we can like challenge each other's ideas um, productively. Uh, it's a it's a fun fun topic. I think Ms. Kochner would agree. It's, uh, it's good times. So we're looking forward to having you. So here's a student reflection that we'd like to share with you. Hello, my name is Cecilia Tuzak and I'm a third sixth grader at Forsyth. So the biggest change from fifth grade to sixth grade would mainly just be getting used to having different teachers and homework assigned to you from each of the classes. I wouldn't worry too much about homework though. It's nothing much. You can usually get it all done during class. And if you have any independent work left over, um, it shouldn't take too much of your time up. And my advice to any incoming sixth graders would really just be try your best to participate and engage with the learning because the teachers are really nice and fun. So if you can try your best to participate and stuff, it'll all just seem easier. So, bye. Hello. Oh, my name is Cecilia Tuzak and I'm and we're thankful for uh, Cecilia for doing that for us. Hello, my name is Cecilia Tuzak. And now we're talking about our exploratory electives. Is that me, Ms. Newing? Yes, it is, Ms. Chiknowski. Okay, wonderful. So, um, I have my camera on. Um, You're all set. Yeah, we can hear okay. you. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, sixth graders, you get to um, participate in this exploratory wheel. You get to have a class of performing arts, a class of project lead the way, a class of visual art, and world language. So, Ms. Shymansky and I, we are the world language teachers. Hello. Um, and there's Ms. Shymansky. And so you'll be going through this wheel um, for one of your elective hours. In the other elective hour, you're gonna be switching between your gym and music classes. And those teachers will tell you a little bit more about that. And so for Spanish and French, that's me and Ms. Shymansky. Um, we are going to be seeing you and in all sixth grade world language classes, we are going to have a big hands on focus where we learn really fun units, we eat food in class, we do dances, there's a lot of um, games and songs, we have a ton of fun together in sixth grade. And then in seventh grade, students can take the language for a full semester. And so we have Spanish or French. And then in eighth grade, students take world language for the entire year and receive high school credit. We also do some field trips. Ms. Shymansky, 
what would you like to add to our world language um, class? I would just like to add that I enjoy teaching French so much. And it's not just a study of France, but it's a study of Africa and it's a study of the Caribbean islands. And we look at a lot of maps and we talk about geography. And yes, we listen to music and watch movies and we just have a, a wonderful fun time together. So looking forward to meeting you sixth grade. Thank you so much for being here. Incoming yeah. sixth grade. Yes. So there's all sorts of things, geography, culture, language that you will learn in your Spanish or French class. We also speak about performing arts. Mr. Yeah. Mr. And so for your performing arts class, you get to um, make new friends and improv and explore theater and you'll be playing different theater games. Um, you're going to be writing short skits and performing them, short scenes. You're going to learn how to improv more. You're going to watch very interesting performances, read plays. And um, I don't know if you know this, but we have a whole Forsyth Auditorium and stage, so a whole theater. And you'll be able to explore and understand the workings of our theater. And... Thank you, Ms. Chignowski. Now I have Mr. William, I mean, Mr. Campbell's <laughs> there, sorry. Hi, I'm Mr. Campbell and Mr. Senevani and I teach Project Lead the Way. So if you had Project Lead the Way, if you went to an Ann Arbor school, you had Project Lead the Way now from uh, young fives through, through uh, high school. And I teach here at Forsyth and, I, and Mr. Senevani and I both teach here and we teach at Skyline. So we're gonna move on from what you did in fifth grade, which was the robotics, uh, the, the robotics programming to more of a design process class where you're going to learn how to draw, hand draw, and then learn how to draw on the computer and then run um, our 3D printers that we have in the back of the classroom. There's a picture of one there on the bottom left. I've got four of those big Dremels and probably another half dozen of the smaller Affinias. And so you're going to design, and the, the final project is, is a lot of fun. They, you learn how to design in a CAD program and then 3D print your own toy. So we start you from just a simple little project and some simple drawings up to drawing in CAD and then something that you can actually 3D print and take home. So right now in my class, I have four printers running all the time for sixth grade students that are getting ready to make their final project and take stuff home. And it's, it's tons of fun. And uh, it just kind of continues on with that stuff that you did in, in Project Lead the Way up to this point. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> now we have Ms. Bartman share. Hello, people. Ms. Bartman here. Sorry, my camera's not working. Um, I would like to see you. Um, Hey, um, well, welcome to Forsyth. You're on your way. The art, uh, we do a lot of different things in art, but in sixth grade, it's a survey class. So we do different things. We do a lot of drawing, color theory and painting. Um, and then we start getting into clay when we're in the building and we do a lot of clay at Forsyth. And all that pre prepares you for future classes you could take at Forsyth because we do, like I said, a lot of clay. And so there's classes dedicated in both seventh and eighth grade to just ceramics and sculpture, digital photography. So if you don't like getting like really dirty and stuff, you can do digital photography, a graphic design, drawing and printmaking is always fun. Uh, we do applied art and painting and composition. Those are seventh and eighth grade classes, but in Sixth grade, you do a little bit of everything and you do it every day, but only for nine weeks. So, um, yeah. And if you don't get a chance to do it in sixth grade, you can do it seventh and eighth grade. So uh, welcome to Forsyth and look forward to meeting you. Thank you, Ms. Bartman. Now on to Ms. Burt and Mr. Coomer. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome. It's good to see all of you. Um, we are looking forward to having you in our building next year. Uh, my name is Mr. Cummer and Ms. Bird is on here as well. 
Uh, we are the physical education teachers at Foresight. Um, PE in middle school is a lot different than elementary school. One, if you do take PE, and especially in sixth grade, you have PE every single day of the week, which is fantastic. Uh, I think right now you get it maybe once or twice a week. The great PE teachers in your elementary schools have taught you a bunch of different skills like running and galloping and jumping and throwing and catching. Uh, our job in middle school is to take those skills and put them together and start to explore different games and activities and sports. Um, so we take all that great stuff you learn in PE and put them into games uh, and things that you can do later on in life. And we also talk a lot about our fitness and how exercise affects our bodies in certain ways. So we take a, a deep look into muscular strength and um, what does it mean when our bodies are sweating, what do we do uh, to make our bodies stronger and faster and make them be able to exercise longer? So uh, there are a number of different activities you get to try like rowing and floor hockey and tennis and swimming. Uh, we do stuff with Frisbees and rackets and all kinds of stuff. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Um, Ms. Burt will talk a little bit more about some of the stuff you can do after school um, now that you will be part of our middle school community as well. Thank you. Yes. Now let's go on to sixth grade music. I see that band is on the left, so I'll, I'll jump in. Hi, students. My name is Carrie Kocher. I presume everybody can hear me. And there's me looking better than I do right now. Um, Mr. Jackson and I are the co-teachers for band. Everybody in the room here, almost everybody in the room has made a music choice for next year. And um, uh, about two thirds of you are, are going to continue the instrument you started in fifth grade. And that's exciting for us. Um, uh, uh, perhaps a third of you have chosen to sing this year. And there's just a couple of people who will be starting on a different instrument and we're making plans with them right now. Uh, the band part is the instruments that are wind blown or struck. That means woodwinds, brass or percussion. And, um, and we're excited to work with you. Uh, some of you are going to be acquiring your own instrument over the summer and we're going to get you all refreshed and started in the fall. We do teach students how to read music and we're excited to go on that adventure. It's just as exciting as reading books because when you can read, the whole world of music or literature opens up to you. Um, and of course, we like to put on performances and we have a beautiful auditorium for doing oh just God. that. Stand me. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure what else I need to say right now, except that uh, we've been having a pretty good time in virtual. Everybody has their personal practice game on, and I hope that worked out for you in fifth grade. Uh, but if for anybody who's going to need a strong refresher this fall or a restart, uh, we're working that into the plans so you don't have to worry about what your skill level is when you arrive this fall. I think that's it. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Kirk. and folks, I'll just add very briefly that uh, I've been teaching fifth grade instrumental music this whole year, as well as teaching over at Forsyth. And if you are feeling like maybe you are not being very successful on your instrument, please understand that you've only had music for half an hour once a week. And so you'll have music significantly more in sixth grade. It will be much better. You will have much more instruction and being able to be face to face will be extremely helpful. So don't worry. We will get you where you want to go. Uh, your other teachers will get you where you want to go in sixth grade. Thank you, band teachers. Great. Well, now Before Ms. Nguyen uh, pl pushes play on this video, I put together for you guys. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kroll. You'll see me introduce myself in video form in just a second. Um, like Mr. Jackson, I've also been teaching fifth grade over at Abbott. So hello, my Abbott people. Um, know that we know it's been very frustrating for you guys to be only on camera trying to learn an instrument in fifth grade for half an hour once a week. It's been so difficult. Um, so traditional look in sixth grade, like Ms. Newing showed you early on your schedule, has you alternating music and PE every week. What that means, instead of having music once a week for half an hour, you have music either three days or two days a week for almost an hour 
with one or even two teachers in the room with you. So it makes it a lot easier. So if you're feeling like, look, I barely remember the parts of my instrument. I'm really struggling, let alone like hot cross bones was a push for me this year. We get it. We got you. So um, before she's going to push play in just a moment, I just want to reassure you that fifth grade has been tough. It's been tough for almost everyone. So don't feel like you're you're in the minority because you're not. <laughs> it's been that way for everyone. So go ahead and push play. Hello there. My name is Mrs. Kroll and I'm the orchestra teacher at Forsyth Middle School. If you play the violin, viola, cello, or bass, I'm going to be your music teacher next year. Since we don't have the opportunity to meet face to face, I put together a short video so you can get to know my face, as well as a little bit more about the orchestra program and what you can expect at Foresight if you want to continue playing your instrument. Another person I want to introduce you to is Mr. Bailey. Mr. Bailey is another orchestra teacher in the district who comes to Foresight a couple of times a week to help us learn new things, play music with us, and in general be kind of silly. If you're worried about being in orchestra because you don't know how to read music or aren't very confident at your instrument, don't worry. We cover everything you need to know right in class. In fact, most sixth graders don't know how to read music at all and can barely remember anything from fifth grade. That's why Mr. Bailey and I are here to help you. Throughout the year, we do prepare music together in one big orchestra class where each instrument has its own part in the music to create a much bigger sound and a really different sound from fifth grade. While we learn music together, we're also growing together as an orchestra community. This is a class where friends are made and old friends are kept, as people who play in orchestra tend to have the same classmates for three years, or even more if you keep playing in high school. Throughout the year, we're doing so much together, while we're also preparing music for concerts. Concerts are amazing at Foresight because we have the opportunity to play at some pretty amazing stages throughout middle school, including our own fantastic stage at Foresight. Playing on the stage almost immediately makes us sound bigger and more epic. As students go through the orchestra program, we also have the opportunity to play at Skyline High School in a collaborative concert with the high schoolers and even play at the amazing Hill Auditorium, which is one of the nicest auditoriums in the nation. Talk about epic. If you have any questions about sixth grade next year at Forsyth, no matter how big or small they may seem, please feel free to send me an email. You can find my email pretty easily by going to the Foresight website or typing it directly into your email. My email is c-r-o-w-e-l-l-k at a-a-p-s dot k-12 dot m-i dot u-s. I really can't wait to meet you next year and just show you how epic orchestra can be. See you soon. Hello there. My name is Mrs. Kroll. Hello there. My name is Pause. Sorry, one moment. You might have to manually, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see me or not. I'm Miss Fields. Uh, it's nice to be here with you all this morning. I teach choir. Um, one of the wonderful things about choir, I get so many people who say, I love to sing, but I sound terrible. Um, and so choir is great because there are many people who like to sing, but they don't like to sing alone. And so choir is a uh, collaborative thing. It's a group effort. It's a community. Um, and so for those who are a little more on the shy side, it's great because you're up on that stage with your peers and your friends. Um, and that can be a lot more comfortable. Comforting. Um, we stay pretty busy in choir, just like band and orchestra. You guys will also learn to sight read as well. Um, and uh, we sing lots of, uh, we sing music from different genres, different time periods and different languages, um, just to expose you to as many different types of music as possible. Um, and so if you feel that you don't know much about how to sing properly, or you don't know anything about how to read music, um, we we will teach you all of those things when you get here next year and um, we also prepare music for concerts as well and other fun events throughout the year so um, I look forward to seeing all of your faces next year. And here's another student reflection that we'd like to share with you. grader at Forsyth and for me the biggest difference between elementary school and middle school is that instead of one class you have seven or eight different classes 
but with that uh, comes responsibility as well. And I think with more responsibility comes more rewards. So this is your opportunity to show um, who you can be in middle school and uh, how you handle things. So um, just go out there. You're going to have so much fun and make sure you stay on task uh, with the work. Have fun. Hi, my name is Nemo Sai. I'm a sixth grade. Hi, my name is Nemo Sai. I'm a sixth grade. Now we have Ms. Kochner and Ms. Chuknowski speak about our Foresight Forward. Hi, everyone. I am Ms. Kochnar, and along with Ms. Chuknowski, we um, oversee a mentoring program called Foresight Forward. And this is a program that links eighth graders with you incoming sixth graders. And so we have a bunch of eighth graders who volunteer to devote time throughout the year hanging out with sixth graders and mostly it's doing fun activities. There's a little mix of serious topics like study habits and organization. Mm -hmm. um, we have a big event which is called Cupcakes War and it's an after school event where the eighth graders and sixth graders make teams and decorate cupcakes and compete for the best cupcake decorating, and then we get to eat the cupcakes. So bottom line, when you all come to Forsyth, in addition to all of the adults who are very eager to make you feel welcome and to help you out, there will be a crew of eighth graders who are committed to welcoming you to Forsyth as well. Thank you. Foresight also has a plethora of clubs for you to get involved in. Um, they're fun. You get to meet new people. Um, you could try out some new things. Um, so it's great to get involved in our clubs. And as you can see on the screen, we have anime club. There's Black Student Union. We have drawing and art club. There's garden club. There's music, music practice club. We have thinking cap. Uh, we have Gender and Sexuality Alliance Club, we have a Robotics Club, we have Science Olympiad, we have Yearbook. And if there isn't a club on the list that you might think of, you can also put forth a proposal and see if that gets approved for a new club. So come out for clubs next year, it's great to get involved. And now we have Ms. Burt share. Ms. Burt, you're muted still. Thank you. So um, I'm Ms. Burt. I'm one of the other phys ed teachers, um, but I also coach. And um, we have five different seasons um, in sports that gives you an opportunity to do all kinds of, um, of different sports. Um, so they are somewhat competitive, but at the same time, if there's no cuts, Nobody is cut from the team. Um, if you really enjoy basketball, but you don't feel like you're really strong at basketball, you're going to learn much more skill. And so it's a really fun um, opportunity um, to participate in sports more. The only thing that you're going to need um, to do this is really need a physical. So that's something that I recommend this summer that you get a physical um, before school starts. And hopefully we'll see you um, in the fall um, joining one of the sports. See ya. Great. Another opportunity you'll have to come and learn the school is in August before school starts, we'll have an orientation day. And on that orientation day, you'll, you'll receive your class schedule, You'll get a chance to try your lockers. Um, you'll get, get a chance to find where you walk around the school to find where your classes are located at. You'll take your school picture. You'll receive your Foresight t-shirt. So your parents will receive information closer to the time when it happens. But before school starts, we'll invite you into the building so you can get to le learn the land, uh, the land of Foresight and whatever, where, everyone have, where everything is located at, in the school. 
So we look forward to seeing that orientation day.